in life, yesterday we were talking about AI becoming sentient and what that means and how dangerous that could be for us and all of that. But I would argue that we are facing a greater danger today, a danger that the system overwhelms us and the inertia that we talk about or the things that we don't get done or why life is hard or not good. The system is overwhelming us. But what is the system? The system is you. The system is me. We are all nodes that make up that system. So how do we see ourselves? Do we see ourselves like the big strong dog who sees himself or herself as being incapable of doing anything? Or do we see ourselves like the cat being a tiger? I think that's a really fundamental question because we often ask who should do something? Why not you? Why not me? Why should somebody else do it? And that's what we're trying to do here at Amcham TNT as we build the tech hub. Because we have a problem. I don't know how many of you all caught this. But the SEA results this year show that of the 19,000 children who wrote the exam, most got less than 50% in math and English. And by the way, the SEA exam is now whittled down to math and English. It's no social studies, no science anymore. My daughter wrote. Okay? So we have a problem. But, but, life is about us turning problems into opportunities. So how can we take these opportunities, take this problem and turn it into opportunities. So instead of thinking, oh my gosh, tech is going to take away jobs, why not talk about how tech is going to help us get better jobs and improve social justice, mobility, social mobility in Trinidad and Tobago and in the world. And that should be our goal. In 2019, this slide was a picture of some CPEP workers when I, when I did this speech. And the next slide was a picture of tech workers in data science and so on. And we should be thinking about taking the people who feel they have no opportunities in the traditional system and creating opportunities for them and using technology as an enabler and as a um, industry in and of itself to be able to do that and to solve the problems that we have of inequality and injustice around the world. And if we define our problem, if we say we are going to be part of the solution, as I'm Cham Trinidad and Tobago is, as all of you who are here are, then we can say, you know what, let's use some tools or let's create some new tools to solve our problems and to make our whole space better because that's what it should be about. So when we talk about the various industrial revolutions and we no longer have as many people in the developed world anyway, involved in manual labor. And we talk about using technology for business efficiency. Shouldn't we also be talking about technology in terms of quality of life and maybe even, someone said it yesterday, reducing, I think it was Clyde, the four day work week, reducing work. Can we create the conditions where technology does some of the things that we do now that maybe we don't have to do I mean, you know, we, we, we tease the lawyers about it and, and talk about the bots that are giving you better results than, than the lawyers because they are able in a short space of time to use the data and the algorithms to scan tens of thousands of cases, tell you what the case law is and therefore what's the best outcome. But there are complex things that you still require lawyers for, right? For example, and therefore, if we can reduce some of the busy work or some of the tedious work, can we get better qualities of life? Not that we want lawyers to have better qualities of life, right, Glenn? Just, <laughs> but 
for various for for any any job any general job set we can do that and so that is what when we talk about building a tech sector is not an abstract thing and we're not doing it just it's not only a money thing although that that is important because you need the resources to be able to move things along but it's how do we do this to achieve larger objectives that we have around how we want our society to develop and in that vein we spend a lot of time focusing on government and yesterday karina from the idb spoke about cyber security and the testing lab possibly uh, within the private sector but what if our government which has so much to do in their digital transformation journey what if our government sees themselves as a developer of ip and so they invite the private sector they put on open calls to solve solutions just like what bernie was talking about that ibm did for some things and they become co-owners of the ip that we can then resell on license and that in itself becomes a revenue stream my point is there's no shortage of ideas there's no shortage of opportunities and if we focus only on the problems, we will never create the Trinidad and Tobago that we want. We will never achieve the objectives that we want. And we will always be depressed and upset and angry because all we see is what we can't do or what somebody else should do. So let's create the Trinidad and Tobago that we want. And we argue, let's do it in part through the development of a tech sector because we can make it if we try just a little harder, in the words of the great poet, the Black Stalin. Thank you very much.